You're listening to Daily Man of Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. The title of today's devotion is The Poison of Impurity. Scripture. Among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or any other kind of impurity because these are improper for God's holy people. Ephesians 5.3 In God's eyes, impurity is one of the most revolting sins because it twists and distorts one of God's most precious gifts, human love. Impurity drags this gift down to the level of the beast. Yet impurity, surrounding us as it does in the form of filthy stories, suggestive remarks, open vulgarity in magazines, on television, in the movies, through the internet, has a better press agent than purity. Purity is considered smug, but impurity is considered smart, and the consequences of this vicious sin are played down. Satan fails to speak of the remorse, the futility, the loneliness, and the spiritual devastation that go hand in hand with immorality. Christ can do only one thing with the sin of impurity and every other sin. Jesus neither condones sin nor condemns it. He forgives it. I'll say that again because that's powerful. Jesus neither condones sin nor condemns it. He forgives it. It's kind of out of nowhere. You don't really expect that, or at least I didn't anyway. You know, it's kind of one of those, you know it's true, but it kind of hits you like unexpectedly. Uh, that he's not going to condemn it. He's just going to forgive it. He will also cleanse you and give you victory over your sin. Jesus said to the immoral woman, Go now and leave your life of sin. He says that you too... He, oh, he says that to you as well. And he never told anyone to do something without offering them the power to do it. This devotion comes out of Wisdom for Each Day, a devotional by Billy Graham. I would venture to say, I've said this many times before, uh, although not on a Christian devotion channel, but I think sex is uh, very, very uh, possibly the most powerful drug of all. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that, you know, most people struggle with lust or with uh, something on that level. And uh, like it says there, God never told anybody to do something without giving them the power to overcome it. And, uh, as it says further up in this passage, it talks about how um, Satan never talks about the downside. Uh, you know, nobody ever talks about the downside, the, the remorse, the futility, the loneliness, the spiritual devastation that go with the morality, but they're definitely present. So it's important to keep that in mind when we're getting sucked into the, the worldly ways, so to speak. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a great, wonderful day, and God bless.